Hi, um, I'm Adam Gray. Um, I'm Michelin star chef. I held a Michelin star for over a decade with the late and great uh, Gary Rhodes. I'm here today to show you how to carve a turkey. It's a good investment to get uh, a great set of carving knives. Many people try to carve a turkey at Christmas in front of a group of friends, a group of family, however it may be, uh, and maybe not succeed too well. It's actually very, very simple to do. First of all, I would want to take the one of the legs off. So, I'll just insert the knife down there and just carve and pull it gently. So just pull it down. I mean, you can hold it or run your knife through, take your time, and run the knife through like that and push it down and you'll, you will see eventually the ball of the leg joint. Just cut through there like that. There we go and there's the leg, okay? I've just removed the leg um, and what we can do is just cut through uh, the joint here like so. And I'm just gonna present it on the board here so you can see then we would want to take the winglet off as well. So again, just run your knife down, hold it with the, the fork and cut through the winglet, okay? So there we have the winglet. And now I'm just going to carve the breast. So really, really simple. So this is the traditional way you would carve it. Let's put your fork in and with a nice, sharp carving knife, carve nice thin slices of turkey like so. So nice and thin. Obviously, if you've got a nice, decent carving knife that's nice and sharp, then it makes the job really, really easy. There we go. So this is, uh, I'm going to show you now how to do the sort of more untraditional way of carving the turkey. Sometimes it's easier if you take the whole breast off the, the turkey, it's a little bit easier. So you'll find, just put your hand on there and find where the center of the breast bone is. So this is the back of the um, breastbone, you can find it there. And all you would do is just run your knife down there. Even if you've got stuffing, the, your bird is, is stuffed as well with stuffing, you can still do this, there's no problem at all with that. Run your knife down to the bone so you hit the carcass, spin it around so it's facing me. Put your knife in there. Just pull the breast off one side, onto, just as you're carving so you can see and your knife is running down there. Nice cutting technique, round the winglet and you're left like that, okay? So turn it over and there you have the whole breast like so. I would carve it this way across the bone to make it and also I actually prefer my turkey a little bit thicker like so, like that. See how the knife's just gliding straight through the breast? No problem, obviously with a decent carving knife, it's making the job so much easier. That's how you would carve it a completely different way. This is the more traditional way, so very, very thinly carved turkey breast, and this is a slightly thicker, and for me, this is how I would want my turkey, a little bit thicker, and everybody gets a nice, pea, a little bit more of this crispy skin on the outside.